I'm so excited that we are running the second Jerusalem Mini Maker Fair here at the Bloomfield Science Museum. Really our mission is to be the home of the makers. But it's not only the makers that are already makers, we are looking also for all the hidden makers. How can we inspire young people to become makers? How can we inspire young people to think with their hands, to think science with their hands, to think technology with their hands? And Jerusalem Mini Maker Fair is really a kind of celebration of the making, of doing things with your hand. I'm really just drawn to the do-it-yourself stuff and you know, teaching the kids more, more hands-on, uh, more hands-on learning. And I was really excited to see that there's more, lots of that going on in Israel as well. It seems like a natural place here in Israel for all this stuff to be happening. We bought a, a dinosaur. That'll be our first project at home, a flying dinosaur that we'll string up in the kids' room. And um, they had a good ride on some robots, and they're having a great time. The Walker bot changes the color of a pigment when exposed to ultraviolet light. And here I actually use this technology to show visualization of sound in real time. We have uh, music playing and the machine listens to the music, analyzes it and shows a visualization of it, of the amplitude. I'm really impressed with the, the simple stuff. There's this guy who connected uh, pressure sensors to, uh, to some plates and cups and people can uh, use them as a uh, drum set. That's really simple, but ingenious. I'm definitely uh, in favor of transforming, transforming education in this direction. I think making um, and creating and co-creating it should be the pillar of all education in Israel and around the world. We at the Bloomfield Science Museum would like to develop our place as the home of these makers, to be the home of makers.